Right, hello. I thought I'd do an update on the bog filter. Sort of carries on from yesterday's video about color caches as well. So this is the bog filter which feeds the little Shabumpkin pond. So you might be able to see a few swimming about. There are quite a few in there, but they're hiding up at the moment. Anyway, so the bog filter water pumps out the pond into a little pressure filter at the back, hidden away, and into this preformed pond, and then spills back into the the main pond. Obviously, I've got some spouts at this end. Uh, gently filters the water back in so it oxygenates it well so this preformed pond is uh, I've got the outflow to the pressure filter connected to pipes at the bottom of the pond with lots of holes drilled in so the water sort of filters up through the, the gravel so it's like a biological filter but also any muck that builds up in there it's pure plant food. Uh, yeah, plants seem to grow like rockets in here. So this is uh, canna, li canna lily. That's Tropicana black. That's stayed in there all winter and that's grown back. The banana canna rotted out. So I've just replaced that with uh, some rhizome prunings that I had from last year so I've just put that in so that should take off well what you see in here are the arrowheads a sort of classic pond plant they come up like weeds they come up everywhere they multiply by little bulbs every year I've got a, a collocation at the back here it's the green Morsons tube that I bought last year. Another one here. Got a little bit rough but I just put that in. And then one I didn't mention on my previous collocation video is the black magic. And this is a this is the main one that I tried to overwinter then anyone who's tried to overwinter black magic knows that they're one of the, the hardest collocations to overwinter. And you know he he, he sat under grow light and progressively got smaller and smaller leaves and uh, he was on the brink of uh, giving up on me but as soon as it warmed up enough I got him in the greenhouse where he perked up and he got spider mites so his uh, now he's outside he should pick up so I just literally just tucked the the bulb or rhizome into the the gravel and the, the way to do this is if you're going to do it in this situation is not bury the stem as long as the rhizome is in the water the roots will feed out and root into the, the gravel so in pure water which is uh, let's say the fish waste fish waste is uh, going to feed them and uh, there'd be ones to watch because I'm, I'm sure they'll take off nicely with the warmer temperatures we're having. And in the next few days we're getting sort of 24s, 25s during the day and 14s low at night. So it's a uh, good temperature for them to start kicking off. And yes, that is bindweed at the back there. This is the one place I let it grow. That tends to go right up the fence. That sort of adds to the, the tropical look. I do try and keep it under control everywhere else. So that is the bog filter. So I'll do uh, fairly regular updates on this just to keep you updated and see how everything grows. Right. Thanks for watching.